right, my crafty cuties, I am going to um, put my quilt in the frames. Let me mute the TV before I get in trouble for violating policy. So I'm going to put uh, my quilt top in the frames. Thought I just might let y'all see my process for doing it. Um, if you're interested, if you're not, you can pass it right on by. Doesn't hurt my feelings at all. Actually, for this quilt, I'm gonna recycle an old sheet. And I know, I know, I can hear you all the way out this way, but this quilt's for me. It's gonna be a wall hanging. Um, and I don't mind if it's an old sheet. It doesn't bother me at all if it's an old sheet. And I have ton, I have a whole bunch of these sheets like this that um, don't fit any bed that I have and that I've held on to for who knows why. I really need to press it, but Grayson is still on the ironing board. And I hate to disrupt his highness with using the iron. I'm gonna have to get me another ironing board. Or put him, he needs somewhere else to lay. <laughs> oh gosh, I'm just gonna finger crease that because you need to find your center. Perfect. And I'll mark my center. Okay, just like that. it up with the center of your leader. Okay. Now you just pin. supper cooking. I'm making million dollar chicken. Has anybody ever heard of that? Find it on Pinterest. And I'm making green beans and a, um, as a vegetable. And I'm making Jimmy a peach cobbler. The cup of sugar, cup of flour, cup of milk kind of cobbler. And then you just dump the peaches in on top of it. And, uh, it's easy. Oh shoot. I forgot the butter. You're supposed to use some butter on the top. I'll be right back. Let me go get the butter and put the butter on the top. I forgot it. Okay. I hope I was recording just a few minutes ago because I am putting my quilt in the frames. In case it wasn't, that's what I'm doing. Had to stop the camera right quick and go put butter on top of my uh, peach cobbler. I forgot the butter. I am using a sheet. I know you're cringing. Don't cringe. It's okay. It's for me. It's a wall hanging. It's a quilt that I'm going to use as a wall hanging. I don't care what the back of it looks like. always find going to the left awkward and I've stabbed myself. I can't tell you how many times. I pin a lot. Is cat or dog here? Imagine that. way too far. It's really 
really needed ironing. Really, really, really needed ironing. I just hated to move his majesty. He is on my ironing board asleep again. That chicken smells delicious. I hope it's good. I hope Jimmy likes it. It smells delicious. Don't tell him that it has mayonnaise in it. He always doesn't like mayonnaise. Don't tell him. He won't ever know unless one of you tell him. Like he'll eat it in tuna salad, but he won't touch it for like on a sandwich or a burger or something like that. And I told him, I said, Jimmy, it's the same thing you're eating in tuna salad. I don't, I don't get it. I don't understand. I don't, I don't. But it will. All right, so we'll line these two up. Like that. Doesn't matter which direction you go. You can so I'm going to go this way, get the awkwardness out of the way. Oh, come on. There we go. I love, love, love my Moxie. I have a handy quilter Moxie, if any of y'all are wondering. And the loft frame, it come as a kit or as a assembly or however you wanna say it. She has stitch regulation on her. So I get precise stitches, love her. One day I'll upgrade, you know, to, to a bigger machine. She has 15 inches of throat space, so, you know, it's, can't do, I don't think you can quite do a 12 inch block, but that's okay. Cause like I said, I normally stipple anyway. I'm not one of those that's doing the intricate quilting and, you know, and you can advance and, you know, go forwards and back if you're wanting to do something intricate. You know, you could base, go ahead and base all your layers of quilt together and then roll your quilt back and forth to be able to do those big blocks if you want to do intricate quilting. That's not me. I make my quilts to be used. They're utility quilts. Isn't that what people call them is utility quilts? That's why I think of them as utility quilts because I want them to be well used, worn out, and well loved. That's how I want people to, what I want people to do with my quilts. Love them, love them, love them. And I know eventually it'll probably end up in the trash and in the landfill, but you know what? It was used, it was loved, and I'm okay with that eventually, that that's where it's going to end up. As long as it's used and it's loved and not stuck in a closet, nobody sees it except for when, like if I was to pass or something, you know, that's, that's not. Do not have, oh, I gotta pin this part. I thought I was done. I forgot, I gotta pin this part. Oh, y'all know what I just did? I'm an imbecile. I am an imbecile. This needed to go up under 
so. Mm-hmm. Paint my shapes. Absolutely. I'm rushing. I don't know why I'm rushing, but I'm rushing. And this is what happens when you rush. Ouch. This is exactly what happens when I get in a big fired hurry in a rush. No rushy, rushy. Okay, that's the center. do it all again. It's practice, isn't that right? And practice makes perfect. Sometimes these pins just do not, and I lost my fabric, want to go through. There we go. Jeez. Jeez Louise. Yeah, we're almost to the end again. Look at that. Look at there. Not too much longer. If I'd have paid attention to what I was doing, we, I wouldn't have done that. And I said, I don't know why I'm rushing. I, I don't know why I'm in a hurry. I'm not going to start quilting on this today. I am actually fixing to call it a day. As soon as I get this in a frame, I'm done for the day. That way, when I come in tomorrow, if I want to quilt some on it, you know, I can quilt some on it. It won't take that long to quilt it. It's a little quilt. It's small. I'll take you guys along for the ride if you want. If you're interested. I'll do my best to film it. I don't have, I don't know how I can film it um, as I'm moving the machine where you can get an up close look. easier to go. I'm right-handed, so it's easier to go to the right than it is to go to the left. I had to clean out here before I could do this because you have to put part of it in the floor. I had the biggest mess. Do you see the bee quilt in the background? I did fix it. I did. I got to take a picture of it. I'm trying to keep a um, record of the quilts that I make this year. I don't know that I've really been successful with that. I've never really kept a record of the quilts that I make in a year. But some, I mean, sometimes it, it can be quite a few, you know? But I've never, I've never kept a record and I thought this year I might keep a record of the quilts that I make Especially with a, you know, our sew alongs and stuff, and then do maybe at the end of the year, a year in review. I don't know. What do you think? I don't know. Okay. 
okay. So let's see now. A lump of that all down in there. And I like to smooth it out. And my frame is on wheels. Love that. I can move it in and out and I love it, love it, love it. I said, you know, if you've been looking at this system, spend the money with cash oils. Spend the money and get the oils, I'm telling you. You will not regret getting the wheels. Trying to keep as many of these wrinkles out of it as I can. And it does squeak and it's because I'm pushing on it. I think this is barely going, whoop, it's under the wheel. It's under the wheel. I know this looks fiddly, and I promise it's really not that fiddly. I promise. It's easy. I find this so much easier than pen basting or spray basting. I can't do the spray basting. Oh, you want to talk about a sinus infection? Whoo, Nelly. Because I know you were thinking, well, why can't you do spray basting? That's the reason why. That glue... That glue will give me a sign. And I've even, I've, I've tried masks. Like I, I put on masks and wore a mask. You know, cheap, flimsy mask that you can get. Might be better if I had one of those, what, N9, what are they? N, whatever it is that, you know, we had that they were saying to wear during COVID or whatever. That might make, you know, that might make a world of difference, but I hated basting. And this is the basting part of a long arm. Is that you just do this. Get your steps in as you walk back and forth. <laughs> oh, I think about that. I'm like, yep, I'm getting a few more steps in today. Oh, I'm not an exercise person either. Let me tell you. No, it's overrated. I like to walk. I think I've told y'all that before. And now, you know, that summer and spring is here and it's warming up, I hope that I can um, get back to walking. Because there's a really good route right here around our neighborhood that, um, that, that I can walk and get like a mile or so if I wanted to. Yeah, but I do, I do enjoy walking. Okay, so now, probably need to pull that that way just a little bit. Let me un unlatch it. Probably about right there. And then we latch that. And now we have this. I don't know what that is. Oh yeah, I think that's gonna work, guys. Okay, so now we need to attach our top. And when you put your backing on first, it kind of gives you a table. You have like a little table there to work on. And I always float. Um, there's nothing to attach the top of your top to. Does that make sense? The top of your top? Hopefully that makes sense. Oh, I gotta get my pins. I left my pins way over here. Sorry, y'all get to see my big fat head. So, again, mark your centers. 
I need to go check my food here in just a minute. Right there's my centus, or center right there, close enough. And we want the center on this, because I'm gonna center it up. I have my center line here and then here. That looks like that's a little off. I don't think I got quite center. I don't know where I'm gonna hang this. I ain't got a clue. Flop it back over the rails like that. And then we're gonna pin this in the same manner. As we pin our backing fabric. Okay, let me go check dinner and I'll be right back. Okay, I have a clicky thing. I do have a clicky thing that I don't have to get right in front of the camera. So I'm gonna throw it in my pocket and I never trust that it's working, you know? I never trust that it's working. So I was peeking around to the back of the, the camera to make sure, <laughs> to make sure it was working. Uh -uh. I, just, I don't trust it. I do not trust it. Yes, I have trust issues with technology. Because you can never ever trust that it is working properly. Oh my God, dinner smells so good. I can't wait to try this million dollar chicken. I said I found the recipe on Pinterest. If I can remember to do it, I'll put it in the link below. I, I'll link to it in the description below if I can remember. If it'll let me, I don't know. Can you put outside links? I'm not sure. I don't. Yeah, you can, because I mean, I link to Factor Shop all the time. They're very self book hunting, you know, I link to them. I don't know why I couldn't do a Pinterest link. Don't know. Try to get your pen straight. That one is crooked as a dog's hind leg. There we go. Yeah. And I don't know if you guys can see but I sew all the way around the outside perimeter of my quilts before I put them in the frame. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, it does help to prevent stretching and all of that good stuff. give it a little bit of rigidity. Is that the word we're looking for? We can use big words. I'm gonna go ahead and stick a pin right there. Yeah, I still need one right here. Oops. There we go. Okay, so now we're ready to roll this one up. Let's put my pins down there. Now this is where I normally make boo-boos. But I don't get everything good and straight. And I think part of it is I don't always pay really careful 
attention to my piecing. You know, if I if I'm making a quilt like when I was making, I made two of these. Well, the other one is the full blown. This one's not the full blown version. I made one of these for my auntie in Pennsylvania. Mom and Daddy carried it to her when they went up. By the time I got done making these, I was sick of them. I'm just gonna tell you, I was sick of it. So, and that's the reason why this one is only a partial. Actually, it looks really good. straight as possible. Grayson will use this as a hammock too. And then I am just going to fold this down like this. So if Grayson does use it as a, as his little hammock, it's no big deal. I can I have a washable um, uh, lint roller that I use so I can take care of that. Okay. So I think that's it for tonight. When we get, when I get ready, I don't know if you can see me. So when I get ready to quilt this, I'll put the batting, you squeeze it in between these two right here and you line it up with the top. So we will tackle that when I get ready to quilt. And I don't want Mr. Chubby Pants getting on this. Maybe I can put this, whoops. I don't know what my good scissors. There we go. That I use to clip threads with. Maybe if I put that right there, that he won't get off of it in the in the machine. All right, guys, I'm gonna call it a day. Y'all have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. Have a fabulous week. Until I meet you back here in the sewing room, um, be good, eat some chocolate, and behave if you can. I know I can't. Bye for now.